my name is Gudrun and I'm here um, with Abdallah, Alawi and Etienne. I did not put Etienne on this uh, slide because he is more responsible and involved in the study site in Switzerland. But me and Abdallah will mainly um, chair this work package 4. And we are going to develop a methodology to monitor and assess the soil improving cropping systems in the study sites. So we are somehow in between work package 2 with this review and we are happy to contribute there as well and work package 5 where then these um, measures are implemented and monitored. The overall aim of our work package is to develop a comprehensive methodology for assessing both the benefits and the drawbacks of the different cropping systems and this will then serve for monitoring as well as the evaluation process. So that's a bit the, the basic, the foundation. And we have two um, objectives. So first of all, to develop and test this comprehensive assessment methodology for the study sites. And then, based on that, to elaborate a monitoring plan for each study site in collaboration with Work Package 5. Um, what is the background? Why do we need this Work Package? Um, as you may be aware, there are many, many different assessment methodologies available, but they are scattered in different projects, sometimes in, in government authorities, in different institutions and so on, and not easily available, and often they do focus on single aspects. So they are either just focusing on the economy or just focusing on soils as such, and not um, including the cost benefits and the social aspects and so on. They are often also quite complicated or demanding. You need to assess a lot of data, so you always need a huge research project in, do, in order to do the monitoring. Um, they require skills, they're expensive, and so on. Here we try to make a compromise so that we develop a methodology which is really workable within this project for scientists who are not necessarily covering all these topics and um, also beyond this project. So we aim to develop guidelines that, that can be used beyond um, soil care. Um, our major aim is the aim for comprehensiveness. And I think that's where the challenge lies, because as I said, there are these experts with um, the different focus, and we try to combine these experts and this knowledge. So we want to cover economic, environmental, and social cultural aspects with this as methodology. At the same time, we are aware that we can only work with a minimum number of indicators due to time and resources. So we will try to define this minimum set of indicators without compromising this comprehensiveness and the scientific strengths. Okay. So our first task, 4.1, is to develop this methodology and as all the other work packages too, we will first start with a review of existing concepts and tools. I will come to back, uh, back to that later. Then we work on the elaboration of the guidelines for the standardized assessment. We want to test these guidelines together with you and in some selected sites. And then finalize the guidelines for its use in work package 5. Um, here I listed a few available concepts and tools. Um, one that we certainly want to use to a certain degree is the WOCAT. I don't know if you know this network, World Overview of Conservation Approaches and Technologies. It's a global network of um, sustainable land management specialists who have developed a methodology to document, evaluate uh, land management practices and share it through a global database. So he will take some concept because this uh, methods were developed um, within my institute together with international partners. Then we have other tools who uh, are brought in through our team here, the, the task, tires, tracks and soil compaction assessment. Um, we have these crop suitability maps, which I don't know myself yet, but they, they were in the proposal also, I think they come from JRC. Then there are a number of visual soil assessment guidelines available, we want to review those. Um, other impact monitoring tools, and there's for example also this RISE, the sustainable evaluation of farms, they take farms as a unit. 
and I'm sure you also know many more. So actually, this is something I would like to ask you now and in a rotating session this afternoon to, to mention guidelines for monitoring which you know and which we should um, include in this review. A word about the components. We are looking at soil improving cropping systems, but they are always within a setting, a socio-economic and environmental setting. So we, in evaluating the performance, we need to look at these three dimensions of sustainability. The economic dimension, so we need to assess the resource input and costs, energy input, yields of course, cost benefit, competitiveness, and so on. Regarding environment, of course, we are focusing a bit on soils because they should be soil improving, so we need to look at soil quality, but also water quality, greenhouse gas emissions, degradation processes, biodiversity, and so on. And also the social cultural ones we heard it are important, like traditions, gender, workload for the people, diets, migration, aesthetics, etc. I'm not so sure yet how far we will also include the concepts of ecosystem services into this assessment, but that's to be elaborated and discussed. And um, now we come to task 4.2 regarding the monitoring plans. So that's not our aim to have these dying uh, sunflowers, but of course a, a good harvest. Um, the elaboration of this monitoring plan includes um, a detailed plan which comes from the study sites actually. And uh, this plan needs to be adapted to all the pedoclimatic zones and socio-economic context of the study sites, of course. But it also should reflect your specific needs and your possibilities. What can you do really and what, where are you also trained and used to do things? Um, in general, the plan will specify what will be monitored, on which indicators, with which methods these indicators will be measured, and what sensors, then also how often at which scale, by whom, etc. So it's really a practical document to be worked with afterwards. Um, we will review these draft plans and then give comments and see if they're fulfilling this demand of comprehensiveness, for example, and also try to harmonize it across sites. Of course, it will not be possible to measure um, in all the sites with the same parameters, but maybe we have a minimum set of parameters or uh, otherwise a harmonization across sites. And what I find important also is that we do involve the stakeholders into the monitoring. We are um, dependent on them also how um, we get certain data, for example, the workload that is involved in a certain cropping system and so on. So they should also be involved into the monitoring right from the beginning. Uh, regarding the timing, we have this milestone five um, until which we have to develop the methodology and the guidelines. That's in month 22, which is December 17, if I calculate this correctly. And then we have the, de the first deliverable, which is actually from task two, because it is more urgent than to have these monitoring plans, and they should be ready by February 18. I don't know if this means now that only in during the cropping season 18 that really the implementation will start. Yes. So. Okay. So then we are right in time for the cropping season. Yeah. Um, we plan to also review and refine these guidelines during the two years of testing so that we can up with these more generic guidelines uh, beyond the project lifetime afterwards. That is why our deliverable 4.1 is only in month 52. And I've not calculated <laughs> which year that is. <laughs> it's way at the end. Yeah, I think we don't need to um, discuss this. The efforts, as you can see, is mainly the partners from Work Package 2, Work Package 5, and of course the study sites. Regarding the major links to other work packages, um, we have close co collaboration with Work Package 2 uh, regarding the assessment of the benefits and drawbacks of the existing soil improving cropping systems used in Europe, 
and these key assessment factors, I think that's what we heard from work package 2 as well. Then with work package 3 regarding the stakeholders, uh, stakeholder analysis, their preferences, and uh, also to test the methodology with the stakeholders and involve them in the monitoring. And then of course with work package 5, uh, because we deliver this assessment methodology and monitoring plan for work package 5. That's it, thank you.